going from fun. Welcome back to Switzer. I'm back with independent investment expert Roger Montgomery, and more importantly, Roger is revealing the companies that are intrinsically valued really well, and more importantly, have a history of paying dividends. That's basically the that's summary. It. Well, that's what you asked me to do. Exactly so, right. Now, we, we, I should, I should, for the people who've just tuned in, I should make the point. No one's like that. They're here they, waiting for are you. Are they? Roger. Okay. Yeah. All right. For, well, just a reminder then yeah. for all the people watching, yeah. um, for everyone watching, that um, that some of these companies are a little bit more expensive than their intrinsic value. But yeah. that's what we had to do it was to fit too the hard to find the, well, yeah. 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 You know, we just can't yeah. make the we can't make the market squeeze into no. our but we're, desires. But we from a long term point of view. The, the market price will go up and you come the value and The value is rising, so on and so forth. Platinum's the next one on the list. Uh, <clears throat> Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Yeah. I, I like the Commonwealth Bank and I've talked about it before. I yeah. think it's the best bank out of the four. Mm. Um, why do you say that, just away from your usual technical stuff, why do you like the CBA? Return on equity is the highest. Yeah. They managed... Um, you, you, you know they bought um, Bank West. Yes. Um, At a good price. Well, I think it must have been a good price because their return on equity went up when everybody else's return on equity was dropping, yeah, um, and there was no A Triple C blocks or you know there was no, no there was no issue. Bankwest was a good good asset. It's just it was owned by a company. It was in Schwartz. trouble. It was in trouble. A distressed and, seller. Yeah. Uh, so I think CBA might have you know been tapped on the shoulder and said, "Could you help us out, please?" From yeah. maybe APRA or someone oh, like no, that. No, no, yeah, I'm sure it was the case. And yeah. uh, and so they got it at a good price. The result is that. And they're, they've got a, a, a they sort of got a head start in terms of their yeah. profitability on on the other banks. Okay. Okay. So Excellent. they've got a they've got a yield of about five and a half percent, which is not bad. Okay. Leighton's. Yes. You know what Leighton's yeah, do. Everyone sense. knows Leighton's. You're not worried about the CEO change either. Oh, look, I'm less worried about that than I am about you know China. China's property bubble bursting. Oh, you um, and Jimmy Chenos. Look, Chenos is wrong. Yeah. Well, I, I, I hope he is. You're I own stocks. He, he picks you because you're an influential. You know, you're an influential. Uh, yeah, you he's back not. Him, yeah, write back and say, <laughs> you're wrong, Jimmy. You've been wrong for a year right. or two and you're going to keep on being wrong. But well, go on. Okay, so... So, um, so Leighton's, I'm less worried about any any changes at management level than I am about um, yeah. about uh, the economy. But there are cycles. Yeah, China eventually exactly. will fall in the hole. It's but not going to go up in a straight line. Too long, yeah, that's right. That's okay. right. Um, Woolies is yeah. the next one on our list. Yeah. Uh, four percent dividend yield. Yeah. You wanted to know the dividend yeah. yields. Um, trading at a slight premium uh, to its intrinsic value. You give us the prices. Uh, okay. Well, it's trading at a, a almost six percent premium to its intrinsic value. So, mm. you know, we're not talking twenty percent no. or any. In fact, all of the companies that I mentioned, none of them are more than ten percent above. Because they're around twenty-eight bucks now, isn't it? it Woolworths. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I'd have to look that up. Yeah. But um, yeah, well, wherever it is. Oh, here we go. Um, I think that's it. Bear with me. Uh, twenty-eight seventy-nine. Yeah, and, 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 it often drops to twenty-six. And I always say that's a buy. Do you remember that one of the last, one of the last recent times we talked about this was when everybody was switching out of Woolies and they were going into West Farmers and West mm. Farmers. The whole turnaround story, the Kmart yeah. result came out right at the start of the year. Yep. Um, you know, or, you know, after the half yearly results, and there was yep. a big turnaround indicator for Kmart. So everyone got out of West, uh, out of Woolworths and were jumping into West Farmers. And I was saying, well, Woolworths is a better quality company, and there's no doubt about that. And it dropped to, I think it dropped to about $22 or $23 Woolworths, or yeah, thereabouts. I that. Um, anyway. Uh, it might have been 25 but yeah, I know it was yeah, around there. Well, you know, back up to $29. Yep, yep. Um, uh, Harvey Norman is the next one. Now, controversial yeah, because yeah. mature business. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, it's had a, a mixed track result in terms of, or track record in terms of its intrinsic value. Yeah. Uh, but Jerry will love you. Well, look, I don't really think he cares what I think, but... Um, I mean, you'd rather you say you like him rather than this right, like okay. this company. 3.6% dividend yield. Yeah. Um, it's an A3. It's not an A1 or an no, A2. No. It's, you know, it's A3. And, and so, tell us intrinsic value versus share price. At the uh, intrinsic value versus share price. Uh, bear with me. Yeah. Uh, here it comes. Uh, so okay. um, price, uh, price 388 or thereabouts. Yeah. Uh, intrinsic value 372. Okay, not too far. Yep. Enough. So yeah. no, it's not too bad. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, JB Hi-Fi. We've talked about flights, and we've talked about computer share. Yeah. Uh, if you're bullish about the stock market, if you think the stock market's going to go well, yeah. um, then you know this is a business that uh, is going to do well. It's yeah. leveraged to the to the stock market and to mergers and acquisitions activity, mm. um, corporate activity. Uh, so there's and another what's one. This, what's this dividend yield like? Dividend yield like? Uh, 2.8 percent. It's got the third lowest dividend yield, and the last one, which has the lowest dividend yield, uh, CSL. Okay. Um, blood plasma, uh, uh, you know, everyone yeah. knows CSL. These are all big companies, well known to everybody. Give us, give um, us the relative prices. Two point four four percent dividend yield, right. uh, intrinsic value, 
uh, is uh, $31.16 mm. and it's trading at uh, a little bit more than that, trading at $32.80 or yeah. $33 okay. there. But you, you, so, so we've gone through the 10 now, have we? They're the 10 companies. Okay. So I, I don't know and for they're the, good quality names. They're all, well, you did ask for, you wanted, yeah. you wanted consistent dividend payers, you wanted big cap companies, yeah. um, you wanted sleep at night type stocks. Yeah. I couldn't find 10 that were trading at a discount to intrinsic value, but yeah. three of those are, the first three that we talked about. Yeah. The other seven are less than 10% above their intrinsic value, so they're closest to it. Okay. So it's a relative value portfolio mm. rather than an absolute value portfolio. Mm. And I think over two, three, four, five years, you'd probably find that notwithstanding the sort of caveats, the things that we've talked about, yeah. um, this would outperform or should outperform the index. Okay. Um, the other companies, let's just throw them in. Uh, we've only oh, got yes. a few minutes. How many minutes have we got? I've got a few minutes. Just give them notes and we'll re revisit them next time we get okay. together. Right? How's that sound? All right, no problem at all. Um, uh, Matrix Composite and Engineering yep. is one of them. Uh, Treasury Group is another, you know, the owner of um, boutique fund managers. Yeah. Um, DWS, which I mentioned last time I was on the show, internet servicing, yeah. inf in, uh, computer infrastructure and IT. Yeah. Uh, Oakton, similar sort of business mm -hmm. to DWS. ARB, which is the bull bars and the yes. snorkels yes. and, you know, all that sort of thing. Um, you know, they've got a, a plant in Thailand and, and uh, they've got lower marginal costs over there, so mm. they're going very well. Um, and the share price has performed very well since I've talked about them. Mm. Oh, it's probably been doing that, not because of me, but... You know, it's just been doing. No, probably because of me. And, but, but go on. Yeah, and yeah. fantastic, uh, fantastic furniture. Yeah. Um, uh, so they're the smaller companies. Okay. And uh, we'll talk about them in, in, in the in the, the yeah. next time we come on the program. And what would be interesting is actually watching the portfolio, that big portfolio. If you wanted to replace BHP with um, ARB and and Matrix, you know, you, you split the position in BHP into yeah. the two of those smaller ones, yeah. and that might be a little turbo boost on the yeah. on the portfolio. But the total, the total number there. Works out to be how it was many? less, yeah, but we're yeah. in close to twenty, aren't we? So we, oh, well, that'd be yeah, that'd be a, yeah, that'd be yeah. twenty stocks yeah. exactly. You, you, or you can nearly treat your, your your first ten as a core and use the others as a satellite and just sure. do, do a, a, a sort of yeah. a disproportionate but share. You could. I don't want anyone to rush out and buy any of these stocks unless they go and do research or speak to an expert. That's the whole point. Yeah. But the, the, the interesting thing is that. You've done your homework. Yes. Now people should be checking out whether they're happy with the management, does it suit their investment style, Correct. Their, their, their profile for risk. What, and we've all done that sort of what we've done is a quantitative assessment, and what yeah. people need to go and do now is the qualitative assessment. They need yeah. to go and assess the management, as you say, and prospects of the business, whether there's a sustainable competitive advantage, those yeah. sorts of things. Yeah, and, and given the fact that you've made, you've made the, the rider there that things can go wrong, sure. maybe a bigger portfolio with less exposure to each company could, could suit some, some Correct. Uh, investors. That's right. While others might like to play it fast and loose with just 10. Yeah. Those, those still are pretty conservative selections. Well, well look, I think so. Yeah. Mate, yep. Fantastic. As always, great Thanks. for the Now, the website. If uh, people want to get this book... That's, if they want to get the book, there's yeah. not many left. Um, We're out of time. Uh, 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 RogerMontgomery.com. Yeah. Right. So easy. RogerMontgomery.com. Roger Thanks, Peter. My pleasure, mate. Okay. If you want more Switzer, check out my website, switzer.com.au.